This video outlines in short how you can register and obtain user credentials through EMA account management to access CTIS. You will register via EMA account management that supports the Identity Access Management or IAM framework which is managed by EMA. In your first connection to CTIS, you will need to get an account by clicking on the Register New User link. You will be redirected to the EMA Account Management website, from which you can obtain an EMA account. The account is requested for accessing any application managed by EMA, including CTIS. After you have filled in the self-registration form, click on the Register button. In the following form you will see the EMA Privacy Statement. After reading it, and providing your agreement with the terms, tick in the consent box at the end of the form and click on the I agree button. After agreeing with the EMA privacy statement, you will be asked to answer to a set of security questions. Answer to the required questions and click on the next button. After having answered the questions, you will get a summary page that includes your EMA account username and your details. At the end of the summary, you will be asked to insert the one-time token that you will receive at the same time in the email address you specified in the registration form. Copy the one-time token from the inbox of the email address you used, and paste it on the dedicated field of the confirmation form. By confirming the token, you will activate your EMA account, and your credentials can be used to log into CTIS. You will receive a confirmation email in your inbox informing you that you have obtained an EMA account. After creating the EMA account and obtaining your credentials, you will be able to access CTIS. However, the registration in IAM will not automatically give you access to clinical trial data. All authority users need to be assigned with particular roles to work on CTIS. The same applies for sponsor users who will work for sponsor organizations that have administrator users appointed in IAM. No role is needed to be assigned to sponsor users for creating a clinical trial application when they work for organizations that have no administrator users. This video is part of the CTIS training program. For more information on the registration of new CTIS users, you may visit our training platform and our additional materials.